Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, DIY Design for the 21st Century. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. Now let's get into this video. Well, hello everyone, welcome to DIY Design by CCW. I hope you're having a fantastic day and thank you so much for tuning in. Well, everyone, I am continuing my color series, and today uh, I'm going to be doing making over these glass jars. Now, this uh, for this video, the color is going to be this antique copper number 5550, and as you can see, it does not look like copper at all. Uh, in fact, it looks like it's a little more plum, I think, than anything, but the name of it is antique copper we're going to be doing a few things uh, today as you can see I've got various tools brushes all sorts of things but um, guys no need to keep talking I'm just going to jump right into this DIY all right now the first thing I'm going to do is paint the jars and uh, guys these jars are thrifted I find them all the time I think I paid about 25 cents for each of these jars and I'm really kind of experimenting I'm not sure how this is going to turn out but we'll see if I don't like them hey I didn't spend that much and I can always remove the uh, uh, embellishments and use them in another DIY so the first thing I'm going to do is paint the jars um, you know, this color, I don't really have this color in my home, but something about it spoke to me. Like I said, it looks like a deep, rich plum, even though uh, the name of it is Antique Copper. And uh, again, I'm enjoying playing with the color, so I wanted to see how it would turn out. So the first thing I'm doing is putting a, a coat on each of the jars. Now you'll see I have the jar turned upside down. And the reason for that is I wanted to do the bottom as well. Once the bottom dries, and I only need to put a single coat on the bottom. Once the bottom dries, I'll flip the jar over. We'll paint the top part and uh, put on a second coat. And uh, here you see me. Um, about to paint the lid and what I'm doing is removing the little plastic uh, cushion part um, of the lid so that I can paint the lid properly and then I'll put that back on after so I'm gonna brush inside a little bit and uh, then I'm gonna paint the outside then we'll set this jar aside and I'll do the same thing to the other two jars all right, so you can see I'm already back with uh, the other jars. I've put a coat on those as well as the other lids. Now I'm finishing the top part of this jar and, uh, and I'll put a couple coats on, let the coats dry in between, and then we'll start, uh, we'll come back and we'll do some embellishment. Right, everyone so I'm back and we're going to do a little bit of embellishment to this jar uh, now first I'm checking I just want to make sure my paint is dry and uh, after I do that we'll get started now for this jar since the pattern is a little different I'm trying something a little different with this one um, something that I probably I don't know if I've done it like this before at least not for something like this um, what I'm going to do is paint two sides of the jar uh, with the gloss Mod Podge and then I'm going to apply some diamond dots. Now my hope is that it, it will look a little bit almost like, like crushed glass but rhinestone. You know, um, I'm hoping it comes out right. We're going to see. You guys will let me know when we get to the uh, final look at the end. But uh, again, here you see me just painting on the Mod Podge. And then once I do that, I'll start sprinkling on the diamond dots. Now, 
I have tried before to apply these with a little diamond dot tool. It just takes too long, so I find it best to just sprinkle them on. And uh, that's what you see me doing here. Now, I will tell you what I did is apply a layer, let it dry, and then I came back and applied a little more Mod Podge and another layer until I got it to be the thickness, you know, that I wanted. And uh, it takes a little while for this to dry completely. Once it's completely dry and the Mod Podge turns clear, then you'll really see uh, how the uh, design looks. But that's what I did, and I did this to two sides of the jar, or on two sides of the jar. Right now, for the most part, uh, the Diamond Dot and Mod Podge uh, treatment is dry on this side at least, or dry enough. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more work. Now, you guys, I think if you watch the channel, you know that I have some things in my stash that I'm trying to use before I buy more uh, materials. And I've had, I have a lot of this uh, fabric trim. This is a sew-on fabric trim that you can get from Joanne Fabrics. So I'm going to use it. And, um, and you see what I'm doing. I'm going to put a little bit on the sides. And uh, I think I do that on four sides. And um, also I'll use a little bit of fabric trim in some other places. But that's what I'm going to do here. And then I don't think this is completely dry, so I end up doing the other sides off camera. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the lids. And uh, this is, I believe, the lid for the jar that um, has a little bit of different pattern. I decided to go a little more glam on that jar. So I'm gonna do a little bit more to this lid than I do to the other two lids. Uh, for this one, I'm again using some of my fabric trim that I get from Joanne Fabrics. Again, it's a beautiful rhinestone trim uh, made by Additions. And I will have a link for that down in my uh, description box. Now I'll do that. I'm also going to apply this uh, lid, or rather this, not lid, sorry, <laughs> this uh, knob, little glass knob. But before I do that, you know, I'm a little bit team too much. You guys know that if you follow this channel. So what, you, what I'm going to do before I do that is experiment with a couple of different gems until I find the one I want. And uh, I decided to go with these little square gems and uh, I'm going to glue them along uh, around all sides and I uh, just try to get them in the middle and then I will glue on my little crystal knob and then I think I'm going to move on to um, one of the other jars. Okay, so now we're going to jump into the jar, uh, the fur or one of the other jars. Now I scaled back a little on these jars. I didn't go as over the top with the decor like I did on the uh, j the other jar. For this one, um, what or for these two, what I'm going to do is really just add some bling 
and some some bling wrap, a little rhinestone wrap here and there, and uh, dress it up a little bit. And I'm working with a couple of different types of uh, rhinestone wrap. Here you see I'm using this beautiful, probably my favorite uh, wrap that I get from uh, Joanne Fabrics. Again, it's that additions wrap. Um, also, because I do want these to be, even though they're a little different, I do want them to be a match set. I'm also going to do uh, that same uh, sew-on fabric trim on the four corners, uh, as you see here. And then uh, I'll end up adding a, another bit of rhinestone around the bottom, and uh, I'll, or a different type of trim, I should say. It's also another iron-on fabric trim uh, that I get from Joanne Fabrics. I'll do that around the bottom, and... Um, I think that's gonna be it. So once this is done, I do believe we're gonna get ready for the big re reveal. So hold on everyone, um, hang on so you can see how these DIYs turned out. Hey everyone, and this is how the jars turned out. Totally made over, totally different, and totally glam. Uh, now, I like them, but you let me know what you think, please. So we're going to look at the larger jar first. Um, as you can see what I did on the front, I added a brooch, and I did that off camera because I always like to do a little something for the big reveal. Um, there is a side view of the diamond dots. Now they really, really shine. The camera does not do it justice, um, but they're, I think they're really pretty how they turned out. They look a little bit like crushed glass, but again, they're diamond dots. And um, you can see how I added a little extra embellishment around the neck, a couple of different rows of bling wrap and fabric trim there. And uh, again, you can see I went over the top with the lid for the middle jar, but that's me. I'm always a little bit extra. And uh, of course, I have that jar sitting on a mirror that is from another DIY. I'll make sure that I link that in the iCards and in the description box. Now, I scaled it back for the two jars on the side. I wanted it to look like a match set, but since they're a little bit different, I did a little bit something different with those jars. And uh, I used some brooches on the front, or brooches, I can never say that word, uh, on the front that, that come from e Faber Mart, and I'll make sure that I link those down in my description box. Um, also, as you can see, there's another little close-up. I guess I wanted to show you guys again what the side view looks like. And uh, there's another front view of the, this jar. Now that brooch there is a David Tutera original that came from Michaels. It was on sale so I'll make sure that I link that again uh, in my description box. Of course I've got a little a few DIYs not as many as us I usually do uh, in the photo as well. A mirror that I thrifted in the back and kind of spruced up a candle base that I created out of a thrifted base and added some crystals to it and a couple of thrifted um, 
vases that I made over. So guys, that's all I have for you today. I also want to announce that I now have an Amazon shop. So anything that I use in my DIYs, I'm going to try and add them to my Amazon shop so that you can go there and find them easily. Also, uh, if you're not a member, I really hope you'll subscribe today. If you love glam decor and DIYs, then this is the channel for you. I also offer memberships, and I'm going to be adding a few more benefits for the members very shortly. So again, guys, that's all I have for you today. I thank you so much for watching. And like I say at the end of every video, I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you in the next video. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day or a wonderful night, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.